Hello everyone, Idris here. Welcome back to the Living Pizza Challenge series. And today we'll just continue with uh, visualization. Of course, um, last time we saw we saw how we could format our visual. It's not like the ideal way to do it. There are several ways, but just how I did it um, as per my challenge entry. And so today we'll just continue try to move some of the visuals to the main dashboard and then we see uh, what else we can do. So let's just go over to Power BI. Okay, so the last time we left off here and we, in the main dashboard, we already have the cards. So we can like add this new visuals which we created in the last time and then just move it over. So I'm just gonna move everything over. Just gonna highlight on them and then Control C, of course, copy. And then I'm just gonna paste them here. Okay, so you can see like there might be a distraction there. So let me just bring this a bit down. Okay. All right. And the same thing for revenue. So I can just like copy everything, right? Then it's not all copied. So I'm just going to copy everything and then bring them over here. So just going to drag them here. Yeah. Because this is revenue. Right? This is the revenue side. This is the other side, if you remember. And then the pizza, the top pizzas. I can try to bring them here. Okay. And then I can just try to paste them here. Okay, that's good. So this is the again the revenue side. Um, this is the okay. I think I did not format that, right? So this is the revenue. Oh, this is the other side. This is the revenue side. Okay, we got that mixed up. Okay. All right. So now let's like try to do some more arrangement here so we can have everything more structured. Okay, we are in a different page now, so we need to like work on this. So I think um, the first here, we need to like create a space for the title. Okay, so I can just like bring these guys a bit down, right? So we can have a, like our title here. And then we're just gonna follow this structure, right? This layout. So what, I, what I'm going to do now is to resize these guys. So I want it to be the same size. I know this one will look wider, but I'm just going to resize it. So let me check the size of this. The width, the width is actually uh, 155, right? While the the uh, height is 60. I think it's the same for everything. So I'm just going to do the same thing here and over. So now I have them same size, um, same width, same height. So I'm just going to kind of like reorder. There's, I do some kind of calculation here, right? Like my page size, I know the, the width is 1.5. And then each of the um, KPIs, I can calculate them 1.55 times 8 and then try to subtract. That way, I can know the distance that has to be from here to here. You know what? I don't want to go into all of those details right now. So let me just do, let me just try to use my discretion to, to do it. So I'll just have this here like this. Okay. And then these guys have to be close as well. So something like this, right? Good, perfect. So we can have a wider space here. So now we need to align these guys together. So I'm just gonna click everything and come over to my format and align. So align top so that, pop, like, let me show you what happened. So now if I bring this here now and I try to do that again, if I click on format, align top, probably I just brings everything. They are, they are sure to be in the same, so you don't have to be doing it. And then I can like distribute horizontally. So that way you can ensure that there's the same space between them. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing for these guys here. And um, I'm just going to highlight them. Just going to come over here again to top, ensure that they are well. You can see this moved a bit up. And then I can like distribute horizontally. So that shifted. So we can have more space here. So it is more structured now. So now order by quarter can come here, right? So something like this, order by month can also follow suit. And then order by day can like come, you can see they are the same. If you want to ensure that they are all well in, uh, in line, for instance, I have them like this. You probably don't need to do that. You can just click on this, click on this, click on this, click on this, and then come over to format, align, right. Okay, so that way just everything comes, right? And then you want to ensure that these three guys are evenly distributed. So you can like click on this, click on this, and click on this, and you can have something like align again, 
you should go to vertical you know something like that you can see the space between them right it's just exactly the same so i can increase this so this raise okay so in case you wonder why i'm why i'm doing this uh this is the way like i said this is the structure i use for my report maybe not all of the charts that i have in my report will be here but i structured it this way uh because um one thing about analytics is either as a report or a dashboard you need to be able to convey the inside the information you are giving right what this data is telling us you need to be able to to say of course your visual should be appealing such that we can easily see right but then you need to give us some insight so i'm leaving this space out for my like my insight or maybe recommendations and so on so that's why i'm leaving that space and that's why i'm leaving this space as well okay so i'm just going to do the same thing here so i can to ensure that these guys and these guys are on the same level so i can just click on this and click on this and then again go to format and line top so like and then do the same thing but oh excuse me um they are, they are both highlighted so i can just drag this uh, but with the power bi um, lines as well you can also use it to structure anyways but sometimes it's usually very nasty so i can bring this here right so another thing is to check the the size i think they are the same length but just to confirm this is size 470 in the width so if i check here this is 446 so i need to make that 470 so they will be of the same size oh ah, excuse me i think that's a mistake so come over here to the properties and then 470 i can make that 470 right why is it why are we having this 400 for 60 I don't know why we couldn't have that oh because it was going outside of this place oh i see so we can just make that 470 now oh, okay it was going out so i just confused okay so the same thing here can be done i just need to bring this out a bit so that i can do that at once 470 properties now 470 okay so i'm just going to do the same thing and just come back i'm just going to lay down i mean just rearrange everything and i'll be back so I added those two and now we need to like structure this as well. So how can we do that? So we can have like a card. I think we might need no, more space. Let me check the height. What is the height we used? Um, the height we used was 1000. So maybe we can use like one, two, you know, maybe I think this is okay. So we can have more space here. Maybe we might need to take back the height, but I mean, it gives us space to work. Um, at least for now so we can have again we are working with the with the with the layout which we started with this is like order so this is like the list ordered so i want to like align it with what we have at the top so the same line you can see okay and then the same height here so the same thing can be done for this we can have most revenue here and then the least revenue here I mean, don't mind my english probably that's not the best english to use if i just couldn't think of any while I was doing this, so maybe if you find a better English. So you can see now it's really misbehaving, but yeah, I think I got that spot. But I don't think these guys are of the same height, so I think this one is actually, um, you can check the height. This is actually uh, 61, it should be 60. And then this as well, 61, it should be 60. The weight is 220, that's correct. Yeah, this here should be. 60 not 60 or 66 and this one is 60 as well so that's just how you ensure that the size you know are the same right perfect so now we can bring this total order uh, i just feel this place is blank maybe here you can also add some text if you want you can add text here maybe that describe that tells us more about why this is the most ordered or what you noticed so i think you can have the text here i'm not sure i'll be adding any but this is just a recommendation anyways so total order by category uh, if you want you can add this or you can bring the top seven pizzas by category okay something like this here and then um, i think since we have top seven we can actually have bottom seven what do you think so let's just try to create that um, i'm just going to change so it's going to be on that list right so here 
I'm going to change this from top seven from top to bottom right and then click on apply so now I need to like go in descending order okay so that um, in ascending order so that we can have the list here okay perfect so I don't know what we are going to use this for but let's still hold it <laughs> I was not sure about using category in the first place anyway so um, we'll find out if we need to add it or not again you might be tempted to really have a lot of information in your report but don't be just add the most important ones and try to come up with very good insight for the business that's the most important thing so i'm going i'm going to do the same thing here um, i'm going to copy this and then we can find the bottom seven okay and then here instead of top we can have like bottom seven and apply so I'm just gonna have this okay i think it looks good around all right okay so where do these guys fit uh where do they fit where do they <laughs> i didn't have them to be honest in my in my in my report so that's i uh, probably did can't find a, a better place to to have them uh but i think um if we have them here it will be too congested don't you think um okay let's just take it out for now not to waste time uh, since we still have them here we can always find them anytime so now that we are using list pizzas here i just think there need to be a difference between this and this right then and this can be smaller because oops again we, need, we really need to work on these guys because of this space so i will do it on the back end i won't show it in the video but probably in the next video we won't be having the pizza we'll be having them out i will take them out in power query so just to make it you know makes sense virtually you would see that this is 2.3k so it wouldn't make sense if the bars of 2.3k is actually shorter than 480 right or shorter than 912 so i think this needs to go a bit wider okay and then it means okay this can be like this and then it means this needs to be a bit okay just just widen this one then just widen this i think this, that's cool just widen this okay let's give it a reasonable size and then you can like change the color of this to since they are like bottom nobody likes to be at the bottom right so we can change the color to something like red okay i'm not so good with colors so trust me i'm not <laughs> i'm just really trying to do something here okay i hope that looks good okay so again i'm gonna change so we can distinct that we are talking about the bottom here just by looking at it right and then if you want you can change this list revenue and the list order as well you can change the call out value to red okay so it can, you can easily match them together and then you can change it to red and then maybe for the for these guys you can use like a green instead of like using the same color as the revenue and all of uh, as the revenue so you can use like a green color here so just like a bit darker yeah i think this is good so you can do the same thing here let's use that color and then you can change the color value as well to like green and then the color value here. since these guys are the top guys right the most revenue right? so we can know that green means good and red means opposite okay so now this color now is like kind of contradicting with this blue so i think we might need to change the blue again Maybe not to like, you can use something not too sharp, you know. In mine, in mine, I actually used a like um, light, uh, something like this, you know, just very simple. It's not just something like this, okay? So I think we can use the same. So I'm just going to use this format painter and use it here, it here as well. Oops, I'm just going to use this here. What's going on? Okay, let me just change that now, right? Okay. Again, this is just my preference. I mean, I, I told you I'm not so good with colors, and this is what I'm working on right now um, to get better at colors. So this, I think, it's not really. Um, so just change the color as well to the colors you can use. Um, I don't know what color to use here. So we can just use since it's still about the day. The, the day so we can still like use the same color 
Does it, does it look good? Uh, I don't know if it looks good. Okay, but let me just format it. I think it's okay because we would actually be doing something um, here. Um, we'll be ending the video shortly, but I just the reason I'm using this color here is some of these columns might need to be highlighted. I mean, some of these bars might need to be colored. So it depends on the insight we'll be writing. So for instance, here I'm writing that okay, Friday became or Friday generated a lot of revenue for us because of this, this and that I'm trying to. So it will make sense to highlight Friday here so that when the audience are reading it, they can easily match what they are reading with what you are trying to highlight here, you know, or maybe you are trying to compare two, two days here, maybe Friday and Sunday, for instance, in your description, then I can highlight give Friday color and Sunday separate color and others can stay gray, you know, so it won't hurt the eyes. I think for now, this is um, kind of cool. The Maven banner, you can design it, people design it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, I just write something. So maybe in the next video, we'll also try to work on the header here. And then we can now start to discuss some insight that we can add. And then we will see how we round up the series. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Um, see you next time. Bye.